Hello everybody and welcome back to Norwich Talk for another transfer rumour video. Um, this is going to be the first of, of quite a few. Um, to those of you who have watched the most recent ones, thank you very much. Uh, videos on Joshua King and Emmy Buendia. Uh, that Buendia video certainly caused a storm. The comments were brilliant. There were many of them. I think that's the most comments we've had on this channel for a video. Loved the discussions. Some of them were, were questionable, um, but it was very fun and it was a very productive exercise for me. Um, a very enjoyable one as well, uh, for as much as it is kind of depressing talking about Emi Buendia potentially leaving Norwich City. But we're not here today to talk about Emi Buendia. Um, we're here to talk about, uh, and I'm just looking at the name now, and I, I dare say it because I just don't, oh, I'm going to have to embarrass myself here. Tosin Adara Bio, Bioyo. Ad, Adara Bioyo. Um, I'm just going to call him Tosin or he. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with. That's his name. Uh, I think it's a name we're familiar with at this point if you've been following Premier League football this year. Um, he's been part of a Fulham team that were at times quite attractive to watch, but they've just been rege relegated, of course. Sorry. Um, I've admired the way they've, they've sort of stuck to their principles, really. It stinks of Norwich City um, a couple of seasons ago now, doesn't it? But we're going to go through a, a little player profile of him. Opinions aren't going to prevail too much because, again, it's sort of this idea of for every centre-back we get linked with, you just make the same point about why we should sign him. So I'm going to get into some statistics and stuff. I've got a bit more detail for this one. Um, so hopefully this type of profile, one, raises the standard of these videos and two, gives you a better idea um, of sort of the potential of this player, really. Um, so first and foremost, he's 23 years old, um, English, and he's a centre-back and he's six foot. Four. So he is a giant um, and I believe he's 24 in September. So he's still very young. He's before his peak, um, typically anyway. Um, he spent his youth at Manchester City. Uh, so that's from, I think it's 2003 to 2020, which is a very very long time uh, for a player to be at a club of course from a very young age of course what's that four years old he would have joined Manchester City um, in that period he went out on loan to West Brom played 29 games in 2018 that was the season Norwich won the league the season we got relegated he was on loan at Blackburn and he appeared um, for them 34 times so that was the 2019-2020 campaign so he joined Fulham uh, when they got promoted via the playoffs of course um, I remember that playoff final, that was the game that I think it's Joe Bryan, his name, has scored that very weird free kick. Uh, another playoff final or playoff game that Brentford have lost. Um, I'm really interested to know what happens in the actual playoff final um, this time around. I, I really don't know who I'm expecting to win, nor do I particularly care, to be honest with you. Um, but he joined Fulham for £2 million, which was quite a low fee until I realised it's because he had one year left on his contract. And I don't think he is good enough for Manchester City, which if you look at their current two at the back, yeah, that makes sense doesn't it? Uh, although Manchester City do get a 20% sell-on fee. So again, I think Real Madrid do this, don't they? Where they're going to make money regardless of what happens. Um, you know, beyond selling a player initially, they're still going to make money, aren't they? Um, an interesting comment from Sky Sports that I read was they described his transition into the Premier League as seamless, um, which is a credit, isn't it? It's a massive compliment to him, which I thought I'd just chuck in there because it is quite interesting. Um, but now we're going to get into sort of the statistics before I give a little bit of them or a few thoughts, really. So this season, or last season, sorry, he's played 33 games in the Premier League. Um, I don't know if he started all 33 of those, but 33 appearances, of which in that is obviously a relegation season. But he kept, or he was part of, sorry, keeping nine clean sheets, 41 goals conceded. Um, his tackle success rate was 51%. He's won, or he won 62% of his duels and 68% of his aerial duels, which... For me, they're decent stats for a team that got relegated and, and conceded a fair few goals. Um, although, to be fair, you know, you look here, actually 41 and 33 isn't actually bad for a relegated team, uh, I must stress. But 51% tackle success is, is decent for me. 62% um, of duels, and duels, for those who don't know, I think they're just sort of one-on-ones, aren't they? 62% of those for a six foot four player is very, very impressive because typically when a player is that giant, you know, they're not very good on their feet, are they? Typically is the key word there. Um, 68% of aerial duels, are, are, that's pretty good. Um, it could be better for someone who is as big as he. Um, but 68%, you're not going to complain about, are you? I think it was like 89 to 31 or something, which is um, a pretty decent return for him. Now, I'm going to compare some stats. Uh, I say some stats. One one stat? Yeah, one stat to Norwich City defenders. Um, I contemplated another one, but... No, we'll leave that one alone. So I'm looking at pass accuracy here. So over the Premier League season, uh, Tosin Adarabayoyo has, um, and please, as always in these videos, 
correct my pronunciation, I, I, I beg of you. Um, he has an 86% pass accuracy, but he was attempting 49.850 passes per game. So what I did was I compared these to the two Norwich City defenders, uh, or Ben Gibson and, and Grant Hanley, the two, the two prevailing figures um, at the back for Norwich City, because passing out from the back is the Norwich City way. Um, and in terms of percentages, he's up there with the two. However, Ben Gibson, who has the same percentage, 86%, attempt uh, 67.3 passes per game. Uh, which is I don't really know if it's considerably more but it's a, a fair few more and again these passes are typically sort of safe out from the back but that said I, I guess this just highlights the brilliance of Ben Gibson really and again Grant Hanley 89% from 61.2 passes per game um, which is incredibly interesting isn't it so in terms of accuracy I, I guess he's up there and I, I believe in a Norwich City system logically right you know sometimes you can't apply a logic to football can you but logically he would fit in um in terms of the passing culture we know that's how fulham like to play their football scott parker is um well that's just him and it's a player down to a t really isn't it he's really sort of transitioned or he's brought the style um that he had as a player into management and that's how his team plays uh brave is the word again as a norwich city fan i can empathize with the sort of naive comments etc etc um but we've seen that stick with your guns stick with the system it'll get you back up and then we'll see by the end of this season if it really works um and this season he's got one yellow card i think hanley had like five gibson had three one yellow card is interesting to me because that suggests one of two things one being he's very sort of uh, disciplined two he doesn't like to throw a challenge in but you look at the stats here he usually wins his challenges so I, I, i'll leave that one up to you um in terms of stats i'm that's that's all um, I think that's all we really know about him, to be honest with you, or all that's really relevant. Um, I only want to look at his Premier League stats, to be honest with you, because if he was to sign for Norwich City, he would be um, playing in the Premier League, of course. Um, I, I should just say as well, I, I realise I haven't done this in the video yet, it's Sky Sports who have uh, have linked Adarabayo, Adder, 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 uh, yo that's a mouthful isn't it um to norwich and i i think this one is a realistic one for norwich you know you look at the sort of the um the build of the player the age the situation um it makes sense however in terms of a price tag mm, i don't know um what the price you're looking at would be to be honest with you but we don't talk about that really in these videos because that's quite boring isn't it um but yeah I think it would fit in. The age is a good thing, really, because, you know, it suggests longevity, really, doesn't it? It suggests that perhaps it's um, future planning. Uh, and I believe now, I'll, I'll be open and, and transparent here. I read this off a tweet from CanaryCast. So I, I don't know. I assume their source is the same as mine. But it says that he has a buyout clause. They didn't specify what that buyout clause was. But make of that what you will. Believe it. Don't believe it. That's up to you. Um, I'm going to choose to believe it. Um, just for the sake of the video, why not? Um, but yeah, that's all we know about uh, this man, this very particular man. Um, I would like to see Norwich City sign him. I think we're going to see many, many more centre-backs linked to Norwich. This one makes total sense to me beyond I don't know what the price would be, to be honest with you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it up on the screen here now because I'm going to go read about the contract and put what I think maybe the price would be between. Um, so that is near me now somewhere on the screen um so yeah i i think that's all for this video i'm going to keep this nice and short we're under 10 minutes brilliant um for those of you who have watched the review especially the latest one with with benjamin bloom that's gone down brilliantly that's one of the sort of the, the best podcasts this channel has done to be honest with you um i'm really grateful that uh, you know there's a few comments saying they enjoyed it which is always great um to those who don't comment but enjoy thank you and um, there's plenty of thumbs up on the video so um plenty of reasons to be positive um but yeah that's everything for this video. If you enjoy these videos, perhaps consider subscribing. Give that bell a little tickle uh, so you're notified every time that a video is published. If you enjoyed this video, perhaps kivering, uh, kivering. Wow, that is a special word, isn't it? Um, perhaps consider giving me um, a little thumbs up if you don't want to. That is totally fair enough. Uh, I'm sure we'll be back before you know it with another transfer rumor. So until then, I'll see you again very, very soon.